Hello folks, Victor with Show Me Adventure. I uh, wanted to show you something that I kind of got into and started doing now. I purchased a mortar and pestle. I will turn you around here and show you what I'm doing. Okay, there's my mortar and pestle. I have been grinding corn silk. One of uh, my friends has a farm, he raises corn and there was about 10 acres of corn that he did not get to before it snowed this year. So he let me go out there and get the corn silk. All you got to do is you walk down the row of corn and when you see the silk, like this here, sticking out of the end of the corn, it was up in there that way. I just grabbed a hold of it, jerked it, and it come right out. Well then I brought it, I got corn I got the silk from probably 120 years of corn and I have uh, brought it home and I turned the oven on 200 degrees and I put it on this cookie sheet and I put the corn silk in the oven to dry, dehydrate it because uh, I tried grinding it in my mortar and pestle before I dehydrated it and it was terrible to gr grind it up but when you uh, dehydrate it it kind of dry it dries it out where you, when I squeeze it like this it cracks up and it breaks up real easy well the reason behind this is my bo my blood pressure is borderline high so I started doing research and uh, one of the things I checked out is for prostate health and heart health and stuff. You take corn silk and there's, I'll link, I will link to several websites in the description of this video. But there's lots of benefits to corn silk. How you prepare it is you dehydrate it, you grind it into a powder with a mortar and pestle or with your fingers, but it's awful dirty if you do it with your fingers. The mortar and pestle, I use these old spice bottles here, and uh, I have like four of these full right now, and I still have that much more to go. But uh, you grind it into a fine powder. Let me get the powder here. There we go. There's some of it that is is uh, it's ground pretty fine. Anyway, you take you take one teaspoon one teaspoon of you take one teaspoon of that and you put it in boiling water. I boil water in my teapot and I pour it into a eight to 12 ounce glass. And then I take one teaspoon of that, let it sit in that water for 10 minutes. And I take a half a teaspoon of honey, mix it in there as a little bit of a sweet, natural sweetener. But I have drank it without the honey also. And since I have started doing this, for me it works my blood sugar or blood pressure has been like 110 109 over about 81 79 if i take a teaspoon of this corn silk tea corn silk and put it in the water make corn silk tea drink one glass of it a day and my i have got off of my blood pressure medicine and i'm just taking that and my blood pressure is staying normal. It works for me. There are over 20 health uh, benefits of corn silk tea. I will link some of the websites in the description of this video for you to check out yourself. There's natural ways to take care of every health problem. The pharmacist uses a mortar and pestle they used to grind their herbs and make 
make their uh, medicine that way. But we've kind of got away from that. They just buy the medicine and we buy the medicine from them. But I'll bring you back in when I get this little bit ground and show you what it looks like. Okay, that's after 45 seconds of grinding it. I'll grind it in front of the camera here. You got to grind it up fine because some of it I just put in the corn in the water. When you get to the bottom of the bottom of the glass, it don't taste too good to get all them grounds in there and but you can buy tea bags, put it in tea bags, or if you have a tea ball, you could take some of this and just put it in the tea ball, but it's kind of hard to know how much would make a teaspoon of it when it's ground. But it grinds up fairly easy. See, there you go. It's getting finer. But I'll uh, bring you back and make a cup of tea here in a little bit and show you. Okay, there's what we got. I'll put a picture in here to show you what it was before I ground it and actually that's not ground up fine enough but you see the stuff on the right hand side there that's ground up fine enough but I gotta grind the center and uh, all that a little bit more but I'll show you how much I started with and what I ended up with all right this is how much I put in in the beginning and this is what I ended up with okay well here we go we're getting a teaspoon of this, about a teaspoon, putting it into the cup here. That's the corn silk that I ground. And then we fill it up with 8 to 12 ounces of water. And we let that brew for 10 minutes. And once it's uh, brewed, you just drink it. Uh, there's gonna be some sediment in the bottom of the glass because I didn't put it in a tea bag or anything. But I just won't drink that last little bit. But that's what I do. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. Like I said, I'll have links to the websites where I found the health benefits of corn silk tea in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.